We're looking at the Bible. The study of the King James Bible. Uh, Antioch. And then we're studying the perverted Bibles of Alexandria. Today we're going to look at the English translations. Our 34th lesson. And we have Wycliffe, 1320 to 1384. Now it was based upon the Latin, and it was published only in handwritten manuscript. There was no set into the type. There was no printing press. Imagine having a Bible, handwritten. And yet the law said, and we're not under the law, but the law said for a king of Israel was to make his own copy of the law. And not once in the scriptures had the Holy Spirit ever recorded that any such king had written his own copy. And yet today we have the King James 1611. Not handwritten, but printed. Tyndale, 1525. The New Testament of Tyndale, 1525, was the first English translation based on the Greek and the first Bible to be printed. So we go on from Wycliffe, handwritten, to Tyndale. Now we have it in print. The Coverdale, 1535. The Geneva Bible. 1560. Now, the Geneva Bible is the Bible of blood. It is the Bible where our Christian brothers and sisters died and were killed for the very Word of God. The King James Version, 1611, the received Greek text, the Texas Receptus. Greek text used for creating the King James Version is the most dependable and founded on the majority of the manuscripts. The King James Translation is least multi-symbolic words. Little kids, little children are able to memorize the old Elizabethan English, archaic language. The Westcott and Hort tradition, the Kodak Vaticanus, Vatican, Kodak Sinicatus, Cyanide, at the end of the 19th century. Again, the two manuscripts of this has nothing to do with Jesus, has nothing to do with God, has nothing to do with the Holy Spirit, Kodak Vaticanus, and Kodak Sinicatus. You have the English Revised Version, 1881 to 1885. For Americans, we have the American Standard Version, 1901. 1881, the English put up the English Revised Version, and England fell as a nation. The sun never set upon the English, it set. And then the American 1901, that, that sealed up the America. When you change the word of God. Williams, tra Williams translation. 1937. The Moody Bible Institute. And Charles P. Williams. Translated. Through the, translated the thought. Of the passage. The thought. I don't care what you think. I want to know. What saith the Lord. The Revised Standard Version. 1952. The Hebrew word Allah, A L M A H of seven, Isaiah seven fourteen, was altered from virgin to young woman. Andover Newton Theology Seminary that Jesus was prohibited child of German mercenary soldier who had sex with Mary. This is the foundation of the RSV. The event. 
liturgical world was having a fit over the re revised standard version. So, you know, RSV, it wasn't a virgin. Mary wasn't a virgin. She was just a young woman. And then the seminary, Mary was having sex with Germans. Matthew 1.23. When it was translated, it, was, it used the Greek word Parthianos. P-A-R-T-H-E-N-O-S, which continually means virgin. The Greek in the New Testament clarified that the meaning of the Hebrew word was virgin in Isaiah 7.14. So the RSV, you believe in the virgin birth of Jesus Christ? You must believe in the virgin birth of Jesus Christ. The RSV doesn't. I mean, Christians out there reading that mess. Philip's translation, 1958, endorsed by Billy Graham. The Good News for Modern Man, 1966, American Bible Society. Connect to contemporary peers. The Living Bible, 1971. Most Popular Paraphrase. Little Precious Moment Bibles for Kids are the good news. Oh, excuse me, I don't live in Bible. Kenneth Taylor of, uh, of Tyndale House. Interconnect with his, own, with his own children. Man, have you ever looked at the Living Bible? You SOB. You son of a... My grandma had a Living Bible. When I showed her the SOB, she got rid of it and got a King James Bible. The New American Standard Bible, 1971, Lockman Foundation. Try to peddle this as an update of the King James. It was not an update of the King James. 44 evangelical important scholars. See, they tried to imitate the King James. And the King James did it with the Holy Spirit. And the New American Standard Bible did it with the unholy spirit. Don't give me anything as far as God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit that is anything written and produced in America. You know what America produced? It produced the Mormons. America produced the Jehovah Witnesses. The Americans produced the seven-day Adventists. That's what America produced. The Good News Bible, 1979. That's the one I started with. I stole that Bible because it had pretty little pictures on it. Boy, was it a heretic Bible. Originally called the Bible in today's English version. The United Bible Society. Catholics endorse this Bible. All right, right there you know it's wrong. Something wrong with it when Catholics. When a Catholic likes it, you better look into it. Then you got the New King James Version, 1982. And this is the worst. Because the New King James is almost King James. But subtil. You know what that word subtil? Changes. Williams and Phillips and Living Bible are paraphrases. Bible. Now we get the diatestinum. Diatestinum. It was created by Tatilian. T-A-T-I-N-A. A Syrian early Christian apologist. Tatilian, Tatilian sought to combine all the textual material he found in four Gospels. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Gathered the manuscript of the New Testament. It was lost but recovered in two languages. It was widespread in the Eastern Church. An Arabian and Syria saints copy this quite often. Not a syllabus or a curriculum where it does not support his argument. 
And this is, you know, the 400 silent years of the New Testament, so-called by the scholars. Now, the diache, or diache, records since known 1885. It teaches of our Lord through the apostles to the Gentiles. So there's that transition from the Jewish Jesus ministry throughout the book of Acts going to the Gentiles. It's an unknown author of 80 AD. Known and collected what the apostles said about Jesus Christ in writing. So no verbal story, no, I heard through the grapevine. 80 AD, all the apostles, not just Paul, were sent to preach the gospel to the Gentiles. So by 80 AD, the, the gospels reached out to the Gentiles. New Testament Greek, water baptism, and communion. The walk of the believer in the world. It's the oldest beside the originals. And the Apostle Paul may have written or wrote inside the diachy. Now, it's not Holy Scriptures, Holy Bible, but, you know, you could find today, let's say you found some paper that Peter wrote, or Paul, or James. Wow, look at the grocery list we have Peter writing for someone to go and get some groceries. Or look at this. We found a list of Paul wrote, and it's the Apostle Paul, things to do today. Now, they were written by the apostles, but they are not inspired by God to be in the Bible. Let's say you found James. Let's see. And you know it's James, and it's, it's a poem that James just sat down and wrote one day. But God did not inspire that to be in But it could be a completely author that it was James' poem. So Paul could have wrote in the diachy, but God didn't inspire. Quoted over and over by the early church fathers. So there it is. It has 25 direct quotes from Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Word for word. It's not an oral tradition. No reference to the Gospel of John because the Gospel of John wasn't finished yet. The Gospel of John was the latest Gospel to be written. So at the time of the diachy, John's Gospel was not finished. So we definitely could see Peter and Paul. It predates the death of the Apostle John who died in 90 AD. And it quotes the New Testament books of the Bible, 14 of them. So this is all the information. Everything gathered, everything to bring to us the King James 1611 Bible. God authorized. And then we're also looking at the Devil's Bible. Yes, I am saying that if it's not the Antioch Bible tree, It is a weed, a thorn, a briar of Satan. All the trees in the, in the garden, the tree of life, I would speak, say would be of the family of the King James. And the tree of the, of the knowledge of good and evil, I would tell you would be the modern version. I will go so far to tell you not only am I only King James, but I think you're going to get wood, hay, and stubble to burn for your modern Bible.